Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at what the difference between a regular function and an error function is. I have an object right here. It's a person's object. I open it right here and then I set the property name to John. And then I have these two functions. So one is a regular function and the other one is an error function. Both print out the word this. And up here I have this dot name equals Bob. And if you try running that, you can see that the first one is going to give us John and then the two functions. And the other one is going to give us Bob. So the first one is the function one. That's going to print out this context in here. And the other one is going to print out this context up here. So the difference between a function and an error function is the this keyword. And that's what you're going to be careful when you're interchanging these functions. So let's take a look at a more practical example. We have a person class right here. We have a constructor with a name and we set that name equal to the this.name. We then print out this.name on the method getName. Then we have this method setName, which takes in a new name and then it has two different functions. So one is an arrow function and the other one is a regular function called anonymously. Set1 is equal to the first arrow function, which just prints out the this keyword. The second function is a regular function that also just prints out the word this. And then we're running both of these. So let's see how that would look. So we get person, so we, we run this set two times, so we get that from the arrow function. We get person name, Bob. The second one is this one. This is the undefined one. And the last one is the word Bob, which is getting called up here. So let's try adding some functionality to these functions. And then you can see the difference. Only run the first one, which is the arrow function. And I will set the new name, which is the name we also pass in here, which we got from here, which will be John. And we'll set that equal to this dot name. And you would expect this whenever we print out the name, print out the name John. That is also what happens. So let's try doing this with a regular function. And we get an error. So if you remember from before, you saw that it was undefined, the this keyword. You can't use the this keyword the same way as you can use the this keyword in a regular function. One difference from the last example and this example is that the this keyword is set to this class. So whenever you create a class, then you set the this keyword to this instance of this class. So that's also one of the differences when you are in a class. And I think the majority of the time you would get in trouble using regular functions and arrow functions in classes because you don't really use the this keyword, at least I don't, outside of a class. Just remember that if you're using the this keyword, be careful which one you're choosing. So another way this would be problematic is also if you're running set timeout or set interval with a function, this wouldn't actually run and this would also not run. But the exact same code with an arrow function instead would work. So I hope you learned something and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.